love you more than words can say. Yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is, you know already, it's your regular Shady Shade, the one and the only, the one and the only, guys. It's been Shady Shade, the answer guy. Today, we're going to check a very interesting video. Germany or Sweden, which country is better? The title is a bit, uh, but anyway, guys, we're going to check out this video, okay? Let's check this out and see. Here on FTD hmm. Facts, we've been looking at multiple countries from all around the world. Shout out to FTD Facts, guys. Give them some love and support. And discovering what is great about many different places and getting a look at the real stories behind its people and culture. And today yeah. here on FTD Facts, we are taking a deep look at two particular countries that offer so much to the world. These mm. are the countries of Sweden and Germany. And today we are finding out the differences, strengths and weaknesses of each country. I don't know much about Sweden. I mean, I know Sweden is in uh, Europe, Scandinavian, uh, well, rich country, like the fathers of the Vikings, they were together with uh, Norway some time ago, and uh, they made PewDiePie. Hey everybody, what's going on? Dave Walpo here, and welcome to FTD Facts, a channel where we generally talk about people, cultures, and places from all around the world. Okay. And for us, here on this channel, we are doing something a little bit different, and yes, that is comparing two different nations. Yeah. Now, here on the channel, we decided to talk about Sweden and Germany and compare the two because, well, first of all, we did a video on Sweden, and we haven't talked about anything Sweden-related in the last three months, and mm. Germany is one of our more recent videos so that is getting Swedish, a lot of attention, so we figured let's combine the two and find out what is different different and similar about these great countries. Okay. And with that in mind, I want to know what country are you from? If you are from one of these countries, I want to know what you like about your country. Let me know down there, but let's get started on the facts. Let's so to go. dive right into it, Germany and Germany. Sweden are two big, powerful players. One a Nordic country and one a European country. And as close as they are to each other, the people hmm. within these countries... Right. Sweden is in Europe. They are Nordic, but I see European. Have their own customs, rules, and ways of doing things. Now, Germany is a country that has a population of 82.7 million people, mm -hmm. as an estimate for 2017, with if, a if population now? density of 227 people per square kilometer. Now, Sweden, on the other hand, is a country that has approximately over 10 million people for 2017, oh, way less. with a population density of 22 people per square kilometer. And the reason for the population density differences well not just the population but also the countries are very different in land size and shape for example okay. Germany has a land of 357,168 kilometers square and as for Sweden when it comes to its land size it's it sits Sweden? at 450,295 square kilometers and in Germany when it comes to its northern region Sweden is larger than Germany wow interesting I thought Sweden was smaller Southern region, it has more flat terrain, where its southern landscape has more of hilly mountains and countryside. However, Sweden is more or less actually wow. heavily forested, with 69% of the country being filled Jeez. with forests. And of course, besides population, land nice size, view. population density, and landscape, we should look more at the economy and the GDP okay. of these two countries. Now, Germany is a country that has a crazy amount of economy, with a GDP per capita of equal 48.7K making them rank 10th in the world. However, Sweden beats them with 49.9 thousand per capita, making them 9th in the world. And these two mm. GDPs are made not just because of jobs within the countries, but mm -hmm. also because of the import-exports of the two countries. For example, as for imports-exports in Germany, it has about 1.32 trillion dollars in exports. Yep. And one I, f I found that out uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah, Germany gets 1.3 trillion bruv do you know how, how much that is that's yearly isn't it 0.05 billion dollars in imports sweden has 135 billion dollars in exports and a balanced 132 okay. billion dollars in imports much smaller. so landscape population money all that's very important but what's it like to live within these two countries now when okay. it comes to government for example sweden is a government that grants most of its power to its people it is a country that has a government listed as a parliament under constitutional monarchy meaning that they do mm. have a king and queen over Oh yeah, that's right. No way. Sweden still have kings and queens. 
They still have the monarchy, like the UK. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay, interesting fact. Things I didn't know. <laughs> And within the government of Sweden, citizens have their own individual rights, such as the right to free information of the government, rights to vote, as well as health care when it comes to its citizens. Because mm. in Sweden, they have socialized medicine that is fueled from its taxes. And even though this central okay. health care exists, there is also still private health care. As well, when it comes to life expectancy, in 2015, the expectancy of an individual within Sweden was 82.55 years. Now Germany is a democratic federal parliamentary live republic. Long. It has a constitution that states its rights for its citizens. Some of their rights include the right to vote, the protection of its citizens, mm -hmm. but as for health care, well their health care system is different than some of the other countries in Europe and it is different from Sweden's. For example, Germany's healthcare is actually the oldest in all of Europe, dating back to the mm -hmm. 1880s. Now for them, their healthcare isn't actually taken from taxes, but they have what is called sickness funds. Now these sickness funds are a system of healthcare insurance, which is compulsory for all German citizens. But yeah, I heard that it's compulsory, but it works. It gets the job done. And a lot of my German subscribers say they actually love it to support it so, so much. Okay, you have peace of mind that when you fall ill, when things go wrong, the government are going to protect you. The health department are there for you. But however, for people who make under 50,000 euros a year, they are put into a public non-profit sickness fund. And most of all, these sickness funds are generally paid through employer and employee contributions. Germany also okay, is a country that like does indeed have private health care, but as for its life expectancy, it's 81.09 years as of 2015. Okay, a bit now, less. dipping into the military, let's take a look at Sweden. Sweden is a country that has approximately 22,500 active military personnel. So which Somewhere between 22,000 so to 34,500 in reserve. To be so honest, few. guys, I couldn't get an actual number on the reserve units so because few. I heard one thing from one source and one thing from another source, so I said it's probably within that ballpark. However, on March 2nd of 2017, Sweden announced that it will bring gender neutral conscription back in 2018. And this means they will randomly choose about 4,000 people to join the military. And these will all be individuals born in 1999 and they will serve for 12 months. Now, also, keep in mind when it comes to its military, although they don't have a huge military, yeah, this is because more, Sweden actually. has not participated in any wars in the last 200 years. They didn't participate in any war in the last 200 years. Wow, an extremely peaceful country. The UK, UK, America, Germany will be like, hold my cup of tea. Israel will be like, hold my cup of tea. Yo, this is a madness, bro. <laughs> Pretty much it's in their rules. They just don't want to go to war. They, as a government and as a people, just say, nope, we're staying out of every single war, even World War II. In Germany, however, mm. mandatory military service stopped in 2011. And in today's world, they have approximately 180,000 active personnel with much about 30,000 in reserve. So one much, thing that is much, very important when it comes to larger. looking at these two countries, again, it's not whether or not one country is better than the other, but we should look at the Human Development Index. And we so it's not about looking at which country is better than which one, it's just a comparison. But the title says otherwise. <laughs> oh, days. There maybe should have been Germany versus Sweden country comparison. I think that might be a better title. Hmm? What do you think? What do you think of TD Facts? And when it comes to figuring out the HDI of these countries, we have to break it down by each country in terms of literacy, schooling, average lifespan, and much more. Now, for mm. the literacy rates of both Sweden and Germany, they have not been recorded by the UNESCO organization, but it is assumed that both countries are over 99% for its literacy rate. But when it comes to schooling, okay. the expected years of schooling in Sweden is 16.1 years, with Germany Germany being 17.1 years for education. And in Sweden, 46% of people aged 25 to 64 have finished upper secondary education, with 15% finishing compulsory education. Hmm. And in Sweden, of course, your schooling is absolutely free, but the one thing is 85% of students actually finish school with major debt. Wait, it's actually free. Like completely free, but it's still finish your debts. How? As a matter of fact, Sweden has the highest debt ratio like out of I almost thought that was Vladimir Putin. 
As a matter of fact, Sweden has the highest debt ratio out of any developed country in the world. And this is simply due to the fact that the rent and cost of living is really high in Sweden. So oh, they're not going in debt because makes of school, sense, no? they're going in debt because of other reasons. Oh, I see then. I see then. Hmm? In Germany, no school charges any form of tuition at all. However, they do have a small administration fee or an enrollment fee in which you do have to pay for, but yeah. it's really minuscule. You won't even notice it out of your pocket. And this free education is not only available to its students, but is also available to international students as well. Yeah. And the reason for this is because in Germany, they feel that the fees for school are socially unjust, and these rules mm. were put in effect in 2014. Mm. Overall, Sweden has about 30 universities of higher education, whereas okay. Germany has 400 universities. <laughs> so with healthcare, 400. schooling, and of course the GDP, the human development index for these two countries is slightly different. As Sweden comes in, at 0.913, ranking 14th in the world, and Germany equaling 0.926, having the country come in at 4th. So when it comes to protection of wildlife and culture, let's talk about UNESCO zones. Germany is a country that has 42 mm. UNESCO zones, and Sweden Germany. has approximately 15 of them. And of course, each one... Wow, imagine 4th and 14th. Yeah, yeah, Germany don't take a back seat in anything at all different as Sweden comes in at 0.913 ranking 14th in the world and Germany equaling 0.926 having the country come in at fourth so when it comes to protection of wildlife and culture mm -hmm. let's talk about UNESCO zones Germany is a country that has mm. 42 UNESCO Castles. zones and Sweden has approximately 15 of them and of course each one is very different to its own culture and of course has its own it's meaning Sweden. and although Germany may outnumber the UNESCO zones of Sweden there is one thing that this country has that no other country has in the entire world this is not even Germany and that is for the fact every single year in Stockholm Sweden they host the Nobel Prize ceremony and this has been happening oh, since yeah. its introduction in 1901 yeah, yeah. as well yeah, when we're talking yeah. about Nobel Prizes we need to mention Selma Lagerlöf whom was the first woman who was also from Sweden to ever win a Nobel Prize which happened in 1909 and if we're mm. going to talk about really interesting traditions that are held annually, such as the Nobel Prize ceremony, we should probably mention that the Christmas tree that is usually put up once a year around Christmas time came from Germany. from Germany. And many scientists believe that this actually began back in the 16th century when Christians brought trees into their home and began decorating them. And as for other achievements within Germany, we can say that Germany has hosted the Olympics three times and has won a total of 1,680 medals as of 2017. 547 okay. are gold, 567 silver, and 567 are bronze. But as for Sweden, it's one of the most progressive countries in the entire world, and it definitely has a record that no other country can claim. Because although in 1944 this country allowed for same-sex activity, it was in 1972 that this country was the first country to allow transgenders to legally change their name after they had their sexual orientation surgery oh, but either it. way guys that is us just is looking it? at unique differences between these two countries mm. what are your thoughts on this guys because here on FTD facts we don't I really to like to, to take sides well. at which one is better as each country has its own positives and negatives so yeah. let us know your That's thoughts down is. below That's of what you is. like about your country and what you like about other countries as well my name is Dave Wapple and I want to thank all you out there all you viewers for tuning in and learning about two really good powerful countries here on FTD Facts. So these are the countries of Sweden and Germany. Two countries that both have a lot going for this it. Is either being an economic powerhouse that gives materials and wealth to the world, or a country that leads in front giving a model for equality and fairness for all. And no matter who we are as human beings and where we are from, our story will always be different Germany. from one and another's. FTD Facts, well done again. Well done for another amazing video. This was really, really good. Definitely good. Very, very informative. I did enjoy it. Yeah, when I saw the title, which country is better, I was like, oh, this is going to be whoa. But no, it wasn't whoa. Yeah, it was just a side-by-side -side comparison. Yeah, give me a little insight into Sweden. I mean, I know about Sweden, obviously, but you will never tend to know about a country until you try to actively research about that country and check. And from this video, I've seen, I've gotten some information about Sweden. Yeah, nice to know. I see Sweden is actually doing very well for its citizens as well. I see, yeah, it's a rich country. Their landscapes are quite beautiful, okay? 
uh, I had just a little glimpse so far from this video and um, yeah, it looks quite interesting But yeah, Germany is still a powerhouse. Okay guys, when it comes to Europe, Germany is just had it Guys, you know, I'm gonna stop saying that because I've said it too much, but we know that already And I see they're on par at many points. Obviously, Germany is massive so I'm not talking about the land size. Land size, Sweden is, is like more massive. Germany's economy is massive. It's a massive economy and the population as well is way more than Sweden's, okay? And they are ranking, they rank really well higher, yeah, compared to Sweden. And the similarities from what I've heard, Sweden give free education, Germany to give free education. That's amazing. <laughs> what else do you want, guys? What else do you want? And they take care of their people. Their healthcare, also beautiful. Yeah, even the Sweden's one is deducted from the tax and Germans, they contribute towards it. Still, at the end of the day, it gets the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been Shady Shade, the one and only guys. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video with me. Do let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Also, make sure you smash like, subscribe, give me some love. Shine in my way, you are me. Oh, I love you more than words can say. You are me. Oh, you are the light that shine in my way.